Now we got the car pulled up just before these silver plates. I'm gonna make sure the silver plate is lined up with this center to the center of the tire. I wanna make sure that's the same on both sides. You can slide it over. Now he's gonna pull the car forward and stop. Now the tire is centered on the plate and we're gonna continue with the alignment. So when we have the vehicle on the rack, since we will need to roll it back and forth, it will need to be in the neutral position. And in order to do that, the key must be in the ignition. Now, note that it's important that your daytime running lights or maybe the cabin light is off so you don't drain your battery. And then as you're getting out of the car, look on the inside of the door here and find our tire pressure and our tire pressure for the front and rear is 30 PSI. Go to the back over here. You can set our tire pressure. It's key to have the um, tire pressure correct for your proper alignment. And you can go right here, take our stem cap off, grab from right here, put this guy in there, and it'll, it'll set the tire pressure for you. Once it's properly aired up, you can remove it, put your stem cap back on, and retract this guy back into its holder. Should you need to change the arms on the wheel sensor, we're gonna pull this pin out. Put in the new arm and slide it back in. So this particular alignment rack by Hunter uh, utilizes these wheel sensors. And these arms clip onto the wheel, and there's three different sizes. You've got a small one for compact cars, a medium one for in-between, and a large one for bigger trucks. My car is a compact car, so we'll be using the blue arms. Now let me show you how to put it on. So it's important that you get this centered right on the middle of the wheel. And you extend the arms out, grab somewhere on the tread, and close it by using that clip. And when you're doing this, make sure the center of the sensor is centered on the wheel. Real quick, it's important to note that there are specific sensors for the indicated wheel, and it says on the top of each sensor. So here we are at the alignment right computer. Now, so the computer knows which specifications we need. We're gonna input the make and model of the car. Uh, now my aspect ratio for my tires is 185 to 65, so we'll go ahead and select that one. Now once all sensors are seen by the machine, you're going to want to put the car in neutral. Waiting for Perry. Perry. So now it says this screen, we're going to roll the car back. Now roll the car forward. Keeping in mind, we don't want to get in front of the sensors. Now, since we're done rolling the vehicle, it is important that you chop both front and rear of the wheel so the car doesn't roll on you. This part of the alignment is the caster sweep and wants us to install the brake pedal depressor that was located on the back machine. We already grabbed it. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it. So I'm going to perform the caster sweep and I'll be gauging the rotation of the tires with the screen here. The goal is to get the arrow to line up with the center of the green. Good to keep in mind to turn the wheel slowly so we don't overflow the power steering reservoir.
Now we're moving back to center. So one of the great things about this alignment rack and system is it'll tell us how we can make adjustments. Now this vehicle, the manufacturer does not specify rear camber and toe adjustments, but I don't need to worry about that today as both of those are in speci within specification. There are aftermarket shims you can install, but again, we don't need to worry about that today. No, the manufacturer does not specify a front caster adjustment and we don't need to worry about that either. Can adjust front camber by those two bolts. We can adjust front toe by loosening the lock nut and moving the tie rod in or out. Yep. Now to raise the vehicle, you can push the raise button. And you'll listen for the click sound, the clicking. That's the sound of the locks. Now, when you want to put a vehicle at a higher height, you want to go high enough so you hear the clunk sound where it's on the locks. So we're going to stop here. Hear the locks. So you push this lower button. Wait till the yellow lights are gone. And now the vehicle is on the locks, ready to be worked on. So here we are under the vehicle, just going to locate the parts that were shown in the illustrations. Here we have the tie rod end, and this is the jam nut that you'd break loose. And there's a flat right here on the tie rod that we could grab and rotate to move it in or out. And up here we have those two bolts to adjust camber. Now to lower the vehicle, we want to bring the lift off the locks. So we do that by lifting it up a little bit, pushing the lock release button and lowering it. Going down. Now before we roll the vehicle off the lift, very important that we have these inner lifts pushed all the way in so it doesn't catch on anything from the vehicle maybe hanging down when you drive it off the lift. Now when you're finished the alignment, you can take your wheel chocks off. Now the car is ready to be driven off the alignment rack. Make sure you have somebody guiding you on and off the rack.